is this week seven? I don't even know. No, that's, I'm trying to keep it, uh, when people go to do the search for the different videos and the different recordings, rather, I do it by week because I don't know how else to, because we do something different every, unless you guys have a better thought, but. Hey, so what are your uh, takeaways on um, last week? Hitting the 200, being your own um, guest, uh, gift a kit, earn a kit, host exclusive, gift the party. Takeaways on how many of your crew did it, that they were their own $200 partier. I haven't heard yet. Yeah, I've got, I haven't checked in with Lindsay about this. I'm a little bit nervous about her. She hasn't recruited anybody and I don't know if she's given up. I know she's working hard. School just got started this week. Oh yeah. Uh, so, you know, trying to get everything all figured out. Um, it's a tough one. Good morning, Brandy. Uh, Good morning. Four of ours did it so far, and then a couple of them after our training talks, our chats, they said that we're going to do it. And I didn't physically, I only talked to those four on the phone, but the other ones we messaged back and forth. I, yeah. I still like the idea that we did it because you saw even the, repl the replies like, oh, I didn't realize that this was an option. That part was great. Um, any other, like Mary, any other, did you guys get any other kind of feedback or what's your gut telling you about it kind of ideas or thoughts? Um, I've just been focusing on every party I closed trying to get someone. And so far it's worked. I think I'm on my fourth recruit this month. Nice. Okay. Mary. And um, I think the people that I've um, flipped they are onto their parties and are flipping others, so. Ooh, did you hurt them? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> so they land on their feet when you flip them? Yeah. Sweet. I mean, because if they're, if they're really um, involved and um, are participating in their party, I'll gift them that party. Nice. So, so you know what you parties have been eight to $1,200. Wow. So, you know, what would be lovely is if you were to give us an idea. So, so this, in the next day or two, share mm -hmm. what your language has been. What are you saying to them? Are you on the call? Are you on a phone with them? Are you PMing them? Are you texting them? And then just share exactly the whole lowdown. Okay. okay. Pretty please? Yes. Thank you. Brandy, what are your thoughts on the week? How did the 200 challenge go? Open up your own party type challenge go. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do it. What about your teammates? Do you know it? Did you notice any feedback from them? Because um, we know all about it, right? We do it all the time as leaders. Yeah, yeah. If we didn't do it, last um, time. I didn't ask. I didn't, I slacked you last a, week. You were a Matt's birthday party play. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was. I, um, I've been talking to the girls that, um, that I have, um, we haven't talked a lot about the incentive. A lot of them really want businesses. Like the incentive is a, um, a bonus, but it. yeah, I've never had this before. And so, you know, I have like five girls that are really working um, I mean, there's a lot that want it, if I'm be honest, there's a lot that want it, but are not, yeah, not going to get it. Um, yeah. they're, they're not, they're not sponsoring, you know? And so I'm still like encouraging them, but they, I have five that they, they don't talk about earning the incentive. They talk about like their business. And so I, um, those five, that's exactly what they're doing. Every party that they um, close, they have a new recruit for. So it's, how fantastic is that, that they're in that mode? Because honestly, mm -hmm. isn't that the big golden ticket that when they're getting into building mode, leader mode, 
And it could, because honestly, we, Mary Christensen always said the quickest way to leaving the company or leaving is disappointment. The quickest way to quit yeah. is disappointment. So I think that says kudos to you and even to the group that, you know, this was so much more than an incentive group. Of course, we started mm -hmm. saying you're going to earn it because we gave them this purpose. And something yeah. switched for them, it sounds like, that they mm -hmm. realized that, hey, it may not earn the incentive, but I want this business. And that right there to me, there's nothing more invaluable because that's more long-term, that's more sustainable. If they get the incentive, great. But that means they something happened during all of the, all of your chats, your conversations mm -hmm. with them, your guiding, the incentive, whatever it is, something has clicked for them to all of a yeah. sudden realize, I, I just want to grow and how, how can we get more to that stage? Yeah. Hmm. And the incentive will just be a fun bonus. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the incentive is what got them to that stage because they're, um, they were focused on the incentive and they made a business plan for the incentive. But now that they're working their business, really working it and they have like, they see those steps that they need to do. Um, it's it's grown past that incentive now, and so that's I think the incentive was really a, a starting place, you know, that encourager, and now they see what they can do with that that business. You know, one thing I think that we need to encourage them all to do too is take a look at their tracker online. To see because I know what was it a couple years ago when uh, Lindsay was really got into incentives. I said, Lindsay, are you looking at your tracker under the incentive um, click? And she said, No. And she was, oh my gosh, she was way up there and uh, was yeah. going to qualify, but really didn't know it. So I think we need to encourage those kind of people to hey, look at those points you're getting because I think they're so focused on. There's a lot to focus on when you're new, and yet um, it's doable. It's just that, oh, I didn't think of that, that too. Okay. So I think we ought to encourage them to look at that. Yeah. And it's, you know, and that's what's kind of fun too about the incentive group is that they have all of a sudden had a weekly focus that we've all been throwing at them, you know, and it's been all real time. That's what I love about the format of this, of the incentive groups is how all of us are listening, hearing, believing, sharing, guiding. And then this week, Hey, if you just concentrate on one thing and maybe that's helping them because then they're finding their niche, they're finding what's fitting for them or what's what, what they're good at and more comfortable at because that's a stage of development too because no I, most people don't jump right into the sensi business and freaking love sponsoring and it's natural so if they're getting great at talk their language that's might be what you know your team is going through brandy is they're feeling so much more comfortable about how they're talking with people not at people yeah and i think once they do it once or twice then it's um they see how easy it is uh -huh. and um they're more comfortable doing it every time yeah so they uh, practice until they get comfy yeah yeah then you get like mad when you don't have somebody to give it to <laughs> like, you're yeah. like oh my gosh i have this party to close and i need somebody to. <laughs> yeah. like you know may maybe that's something that we should consider doing mm -hmm. it's kind of a round table uh about language about you know just playing back and forth with each other and talking and uh what's that called when you do brain yeah. melding i'm sorry brain melding well no i meant where we actually practice with somebody and we buddy up and we oh, say right. role playing thank you and maybe i don't know would that help maybe do, have we asked what's stopping people you know like um, I have one girl that she wasn't sponsoring and I'm like, you're, there's no way this is going to happen if you're not sponsoring. Um, she's not doing parties. I'm like, she's not in the group, but I'm like, how do you have two, 3000 PRV and you're not doing parties? 
And so long story short, but she, by doing that, she's not, she doesn't really have people, people to gift the par party to. They don't see what is happening. And, um, you know, like Mary said, when she has the party and then she gifts them the party or she just gifts the host join kit, those people see what they're supposed to be doing, what they, what they have been doing, and they already have that foundation to keep going. When you just pull somebody off the street, it is so much harder to train them. You have to start from zero, where these other people already kind of know what they're doing. It's so much easier. Um, so have we asked them, like, are you, are you doing parties? I know we've been telling them to do it, but but are they doing parties and closing parties where they have host kits to gift? I didn't do parties for a long time either, and I wasn't very good at sponsoring. So yeah, <laughs> it does help. Parties help? Yes. Absolutely. Why do you think that is, Mary? Just because it gets you in front of people that um, you may not have met before and it gets you out of like your group of continuous customers that have been real loyal that probably will never join. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're all usually sensi lovers. So you got a big jump there. Yeah. And I'll post this in the thing, but what I've been doing is when I do the party, I create a group and then I just let them take over the group and that's their VIP group. So they start with people that, bought from their first so they can always refer back to the first week of the party if they when they want to um, do their own party with like the posts and things to do yeah i mean when i asked charlotte if she wanted to join she goes well not to like downplay anything but this doesn't look very hard and i was like it's not <laughs> that's the best that's what you want them to feel right <laughs> like taking candy from a baby so, um, and they get, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, and they get that from doing the parties. And so they've already learned how you did it with them, Mary. So now when they have their party, they just know that's my, that's how to do it. Yeah. I mean, she's when, got, she, she joined, I think on the 27th of August and she already has three parties and she's done almost 2000 PRB. Excellent. Wow. See, I love that. Mm, that's why I love the gift of party. Because then you really do know right away who your hot dogs are and who your slackers are going to be. The last gal I sponsored, we did her party. She didn't want the $59 kit slash free kit because it was 500 and something. She wanted the $99 kit. And as soon as she got her kit, I haven't seen her. I haven't talked to her. I, I, I emailed. I texted. I PM'd. I love funny voicemail, best voice messages. So I'm all, who, how do you do that? That is so bizarre to me. Yeah, <laughs> it's bizarre. But yeah. I mean, it's still, I, I mean, I'm their bitch for their first 70 days. I don't care. <laughs> I, every week they're going to hear from me. Oh, I'm getting my call. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> hey, Mary, where are you? Are you in Vegas or I mean, uh, Reno or are you in er Boise area? I'm in Reno. Okay, tell me a little bit about Reno. Is it, um, are there a lot of gangs? Mm, we have gangs, but not bad. Okay, but it sounds like it's an area that's starting to really grow. Yes, we've grown um, crazy because of um, Tesla just built their Gigafactory. Oh, they did. About 10 miles outside of Reno. Um, and then Sony followed and Apple. And so like this place that just used to be mountains they pretty much just leveled and made it this whole um like technology center so we have people moving here like crazy um a lot of people are are leaving california but they don't want to go very far so yeah they go to reno so they can still just hop back over how how large is the or what's the population of reno you know we're almost to well our county washoe county's four hundred and eighty eight thousand. Oh, okay. Wow. So, you know what this made me think of? Because I don't want to forget. Mary, 
Is this your third month of director? No. Not second. Well, yeah, I would have been at six if I would have done July, but this will be second. I'm restarting. Second. So you're on three month director consistency watch. Woo woo! <laughs> we cannot go without Tom is coming from the closet. Uh, and we can't go without recognizing our superstar director watch. I hope this doesn't put pressure on you guys, but when you see your numbers and then you know who's coming up, oh my gosh, you're balling. This is your year, I have no doubt. Oh my golly, oh my golly. I, I love your story, how you started, and then how you persevered, and how you kept going. I love that. I have somebody post the link and I'll put it in my office. How long have you been with Cincy, Yvonne? Um, it was 11 years in January. Okay. Vaughn, what's stopping you from hitting superstar? What do you need? One little blue man. Oh. One more little blue man. But she's oh. over 6,000 already, so we're, we're there. Oh. We're there. Randy, oh, yeah, I bet so. will you post the link really quick on the Let's Go group for Ken? Because he's going to go to his computer because the Closet Monkey guy is coming here just to measure. So he's going to intercept for me just for a little bit while this guy measures. He's only going to be here like 10 minutes. Hopefully. Um, you want me to post there? You want me to just message him? Message, whatever works for you. Please. Oh, shoot, he's here. Keep going, because we, we're, I want to do the party chain reaction. That's coming next, okay? I like the chair. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> okay. Talk about this week what we should do for the party chain reaction. Um, I posted it last week, but we didn't have time to catch it. So basically, the graphic looked like um, you know you have a party. Parties are your whatever your um, business now, and then the sponsors are your business in the future, kind of thing. Like that's kind of kind of what the it looked like. Like you got to start with the party, and then you get the sponsor, and then. It builds your business that way. So that's what the the graphic is she's referring to. I'm not sure what an action plan would be for that. I think that's that. Right. Hmm. Haven't we kind of already done some of this though? About I think she wants to to backtrack, not backtrack, okay. but like um, continue on, extend. Yeah, when I um, when I was asking her about the name, basically I was just giving her a hard time, like so I could name the week. Oh, and she was like bouncing off ideas, and she came up with this um party chain reaction that you know this links to this links to this that causes this and so i think she wants to introduce that concept even though we've kind of already talked about it maybe it's just that the, to kind of keep it going so yeah it continues to multiply i don't know maybe not I always call it kind of like the snowball effect. Like once yeah. you start doing parties, then you book more parties and then you get more recruits and then it just starts this big old snowball effect. So I'm here to tell you, I'm gonna share. I have quite a few people on my team that are at zero and we've had the best selling warmers of all time at our fingertips. Do you guys have anybody like that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does it just, it blows uh -huh. my mind. I just, uh -huh. I've been, honestly, I've been in kind of a funk about it. That Randy, share with her what you told me yesterday, which I thought was brilliant, about the people so, who think they're deactivated. And I just found out about two more. Um, so I had a girl who um, messaged me, to order and I was looking at her name and I was like 
you know, this name sounds familiar. Like, uh, you know, and so I looked at her Facebook and then I thought, I think, I think she found me on Facebook and joined Sensi. And so I looked on my um, workstation and she had a different name, but I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the same girl. And so I asked her, excuse me, can you get out of here? Hey, get out. Go find somebody else to tear it. Nope. We'll go. Goodbye. Go wake up, Madison. No, she's not here. <laughs> I let her sleep over at a friend's house last night, and ugh. you're on puppy patrol. Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. She's yeah, annoying. Yeah, take the dog she with you. <laughs> she needs to go to obedience school. She finally got her last shot, so she can go to puppy training because yeah. she's annoying. <laughs> Um, anyways, so, so I, um, she gave me her order and everything. And I said, um, didn't, didn't you used to sell Scentsy? And she's like, yeah, a long time ago. I was like, you were on my team. And she was like, yeah, but it was a long time ago. And I was like, well, it wasn't that long ago. You're still a consultant. And she's like, what? And I was like, because of COVID, Scentsy hasn't done any, um, cancellations. So you're still a consultant and she was like i had no idea and she's put in a couple orders already since then so i thought to myself you know i wonder how many other people don't know they're still a consultant because if they weren't checking their workstation all they got was an email saying you know this is your month to be active and if you're not you'll be canceled so um so I sent out an email to everyone on my team, my group that had a check mark um, that was going to be will canceled. And it just said, did you know you're still a Sensi consultant? And um, in the email, I just said, you know, due to COVID, since he's not doing any cancellations, um, so you are still a consultant. Here's a link to the fall catalog. Here's a link to the harvest brochure and the holiday brochure if you'd like to make some money like sensi business is booming so if you want to restart your sensi business and give it a shot let us know and um so she did it i got an email back from a lady saying she had been going through cancer and chemo had to, her really sick so she's feeling better now she wants to restart i was talking to one of my leaders yesterday and she said yeah um the two girls on her team had had zeros for months and just all of a sudden um uh had orders and so i messaged the two of them and they said they didn't know they were still consultants they thought they canceled back in like april and so um that's four people that had check marks that thought they were gonna they weren't either weren't consultants or were gonna cancel and are active now okay all right i'll email i did send out yeah. um notices to some of mine and i th think i heard back from one of them just yeah one of them she was like i told you i don't want to do this anymore i don't know why you would email me and i'm like you just come up on my reports block me <laughs> you know it's just called do you want to make some money yeah um yeah i just it, you know i've been trying to tell my people hey this is this is a pretty easy month for you to get a thousand prv but it takes a little bit of effort uh what do you have going what can how can we support you um i did a survey he sent it out and got back five out of 32. with the people that are still at zeros i um you know i'll send them an email or a message once or twice but if they're not doing anything right now, there's nothing that you can do to make them do it. Like, yeah, it literally could not be easier to sell Sensi right now. And if they're not doing it, then I, I feel like they're telling people not to buy from them. Like, you know, if someone ordered from them, they're like, oh, I'm not, I'm not selling Sensi anymore. So uh, just focus on the people that are working and growing them. Yep. Yep. No, I, but I get this way because I have a teacher background and you know, you want to try to make, help everybody be successful. 
And yeah. so I tend to get in that mode and stay in that mode. And then I think, don't waste your time. Yeah. And, um, but it's still hard. Yep. I was that way for a while. And, um, and then I was kind of like, I'm done being a director. Like I need to figure out how, how, like, we were stagnant. We were just like hanging out. Like this is how it's gonna be forever. No thanks. Oh, now you are on Star Director Watch. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it, 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 you guys, this is so fun. There's nothing more rewarding than to see all of this time and effort that you put into your businesses, all of a sudden through a pandemic coming to fruition. It's just mm -hmm. fun. And crazy scary when you have so many, Brandy, that could happen at the same time. That's why you constantly want to know your... Yeah, I have three. Like, Brandy's I on nothing. Superstar Director Watch, actually. It's yeah. possible this month. I mean, it really... Yeah. You're right, Yvonne. It's possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Star mm -hmm. has, she already has Star Director GWB. Yep. As long as they hit their directorship of those two and she's got i mean you've got five weenies you know no they're hot dogs they're not weenies. yeah i i talked to three of them yesterday and they're all like let's do this so um <laughs> i love that but then i thought i don't know if i could actually get the gwv or yeah number because we um like our highest has been like forty seven thousand. I'm like, oh gosh, like to get all the way to eighty, I don't I just don't know if that'll happen. But then I went and looked at my numbers and I was like, Oh shit. You're more than halfway <laughs> there already. Can okay. we have more than half of the month left? Yeah, we still yeah. have LTOs coming out. So lots yeah, of LTOs. So in case Michelle is listening to this too. A big shout out, kudos to Michelle because she is on six month director consistency. She's hit it. She's already hit it this month. So all of those things are just so about you. And not one mention of us doing in the incentive. That's the beauty. Yeah. You talk about your team members, Brandy, how yeah, I'm sure they care about it, but that's not what's yeah. driving them. This more long term yeah. vision is what's driving everybody. So hopefully I haven't forgotten anyone that's on a, a watch. Have I, Bonnie? Have I missed anything that I should I wanna I wanna know? I mean it's important. Well, I hit it last month. I hit six last month. No, no, I mean like your next boom. So do you have your three on your radar for your star director watch? Yes. Um I do. I'm always Lindsay. And um Okay, cool. Yeah, I, and now that Ken mentioned, I didn't realize that first generation meant people in your downline. I didn't realize that. So now I'm refocusing and trying to really focus on those people too to help them grow and get where they want to go. I love that. That's so crazy. So, so, oh, did Mary chat out? Because I see it. Why no picture of you? Yeah, Ken. Ken's asking her. I got you, huh? Doesn't Ken look like he's jamming out on a radio? Because he's got those like 1950s headphones. No. Nobody. Can You're hear. muted. We can't hear you. Which is best. You could leave it. Okay. So <laughs> I'm going to share a screen of something that Ken and I came up with, and we talked about it two two leadership calls ago, and this is basically the whole cycle of. A party. Can you see it? Yes. I know it's going to be small, but can you see it? Yep. So uh, do, do, when I'm talking, I'm using the cursor. Can you see the cursor or no? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yay. Okay. So here's the party host. And then you notice um, this whole effect that happens. And to me, when we do, then Bonnie is totally on this page too because we've chatted about it a zillion times. But when you do any kind of trade show or event, it is never just about the sales. In fact, now that we have the gift of party option, it should mostly be about constantly getting party books 
no matter what type of event or activity or PRV show we are doing, of course the PRV is great, but it's the product that brings them into the booth. So we want them to leave with the product in their hands, but you in their heart. That is the importance of a connection. That's no different than when we do a virtual or any kind of online party. So you can see how it starts with the host. She's on her computer because that's our world. And because this was my example and my super fun party, look at how much fun everyone is. I even have people clapping at the party. <laughs> they're dancing, they're having fun. But the fun thing about this is for, for us as a group, as, a, uh, as leaders, for us to paint the picture to our teamies that no matter what, whenever you're doing an event, how are you going into it? Trying to gift that party so you see all the way in the back of the room, this person was so stoked and we had no idea. She came out of nowhere and said, I'll do it because in this scenario, the host didn't want to hop on board and do the EAK, but this person in the back did, she got it, we offered her that, that kit. And then you see how many of these our customers and then which was fun when I put this together because Ken said you know I don't know if that's realistic that you're gonna have three seven 13 people at a party and four of a book and my my thinking every time I do any kind of event PRV event every single time is uh, I want half of them to book a party and I can't wait to see who my next new team member or two is gonna be so, you know, it may not be realistic, but if you go through saying, I just want one party booked, then we get happy with one. We get one PRV event, woohoo, we're good. Mm -mm. So this whole graphic is for us to get the idea that everybody in there has a role. They're, and if not, if, if they have not achieved, if the, if the host has not achieved a role, then I wanna do something better as the consultant to coach them. So I want to be the one that is firing up that host to say, hey, who do you think would make it? If you're not going to do it, who do you think would make the best one? And then I get to go to Bertha and say, Bertha, you know what? Sarah thought that you'd be so amazing. And she said you, she'd support you. And by the way, you just got three parties booked at this party, at this um, share, at this online virtual activity. And she got three of them and I'll give them all to you. I mean, come on. I mean, and I, and I don't necessarily need to say that to our new teamies because it's scary to give up all your PRV, but the, the graph or the, what does I call it? The legend at the bottom is for us to all kind of reiterate to our team members. Customers are your income. And this is from Mary Christensen, right? Customers are your income for today. Your next host is your income for tomorrow, but your new teamies, that earn a kit, that host exclusive kit, is our income for life. So how do we, through the party chain reaction, come up with some fun little challenge for them to do this week as their cow, their focus? Well, I, I think the, the main point of this chain reaction graphic is to try and change perspective from I'm doing parties to generate PRV. In reality, you need to be doing parties targeting multiple outcomes and what is what you're doing in coaching your host and is what you're doing at your parties positioning yourself to have all three of those outcomes or is your normal outcome just more sales and now you got to find another party host tom you can interrupt me anytime you need okay i got an innate i will see you i will make all my measures or any worse thank you appreciate it yeah, thank you have a great rest of your day So if we can, if we can yourself, put that, any thoughts? Yeah. Well, we just need we just need to get that in people's perspective. Yeah. Change, well, we need to ch change their perspective on, you know, I'm just doing a party to make money. No, you're doing a party, yeah, to, to make, just like you said to make money today, but to position for money tomorrow and to position money for, you know, for a lifetime. What are you doing? You know, because there's things you can do, right? I mean, you can how you coach your hosts. And position your host can position them to be your next earn -a -kit person how you um, identify potential earn -a -kit people within the group uh, and how you do that and how you say what you say at the party or do what you do at the party or are you just trying to get customers to buy from you today you know and 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 what about 
you know, booking more parties at the parties. I mean, that that's strategic. There are things you have to do to get those outcomes. And if all you're doing is getting the outcome of selling, then you're missing the point. <laughs> Well, therein lies our, what we need them to do then, is we need to identify the hows and then start in on them, don't you think? Correct. Yes, absolutely. So what would be a fun way to, to do that? Would it be, I'm just, I'm thinking out loud with you guys right now. Would it be, would it be rewarding, not just busy work, but fun? I mean, it's got to be fun or they're not going to do it. But so would it be rewarding for them to come up with a coaching checklist? and share it for us all to snag ideas from, or for, you know, of course, any of us who have them, would, would that be something that would benefit them? Because to me, and I'm, I, I'm trying not to just put my belief in philosophy, but to me, when I learned how to coach my host, that's when my parties became off the charts because it was, we've talked about this before. I just felt like that host is the one who has all that loyalty and all that buy-in to all of her guests. So if it came from me, then it's more of a pitch or it's more of a, a, about me. It's more of a pushiness. But what are your thoughts on that? Jeanette, when you shared your, I think it was your scavenger hunt and you shared your hostess coaching sheet and you said exactly what you said. I totally took that and made it my own because I don't talk like you. <laughs> but um, I love having that and I've shared it with my team too, but it's just what I'm going to send to my hostesses throughout the Facebook party and like, and they can copy and paste it and pop it in there. So I think if everybody had that and updated it or changed it or tweaked it and saw everybody else's ideas, they could make theirs a little better. And if they just have that to go back to copy and paste and throw it, it's so easy, but you got to have the right words. So if we all shared that with them, I think that would be good. So, uh, so, is is there a host coaching is there a host coaching video out there that already exists and everybody loves? Mm. That kind of covers this, these three areas. I haven't seen one. I like the word. I like to I like the words just to read them and be able to cut them and paste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, none of us are thinking of one, so. <laughs> Right. No. You know, maybe that's something that uh, we can work on. Uh, well, and that's the thing is, do we do we create create a thread? If we create a thread for everyone to share, this is how I my step by step. Because you know, when we are doing parties, we come up with our step by steps as well. This, this step, I'm going to share this with the host. This step, I'm going to share this with the host. And then, oh, and this is what I say to the host. And then, but that's all part of coaching. And I know a lot of you guys already have something like that. So is it too much, though, if we all, if we do a thread and say, hey, this, this week is all about coaching your host. So you get that party chain reaction. It, is that something that is rewarding for them that they can take running forward? Or what do you think would be a way I, to get them in the mode. I think it's valuable. I think it has value. So, um, and, and it's probably maybe some things that they haven't thought of. I don't know how long all of your teamies have been in the business. You know, I don't know if some of them are brand new and they're just hot to trot, or if they're people that are seasoned in this and kind of know what they're doing. But it's it never hurts to have something in front of you and and see somebody else's ideas because maybe you hadn't thought of something that's on there. I, I think it's the norm that most people, most consultants think, I just have a party, collect my orders, and then figure out how to do the next one. You know, find another, somebody else who hosts a party for me. They, I don't think they go into it with the mindset that my goal is to get orders, get more parties booked, and find somebody to take the earn kit. I, I I think that's the exception, uh, not the rule. And how do we how do we encourage this to be the rule? This is how you do parties. You know, this is this is what you're going for in a party, not just to collect a bunch of orders and submit them on your workstation and now you're done. Um, that's the starting point. Danette, what if you shared yours again, but as just the focus for this week instead of hiding in the hiding in the scavenger hunt party? Um, 
and then told everybody to to revise it and make it their own and share it with us. Yeah, that would to be their action. To implement it, actually, to implement it. And so what would be their big action for the week? To make Creating their own their document. Own. Yeah, making their own hostess coaching document. So that when they have a party, they'll, they'll be able to copy and paste and throw it in. So I, I love that idea, and I'm, 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 I'm talking to you from, from my heart right now that I love the idea because I know how well connected I am with our nine or ten in that incentive group. There's not a week that goes by that I'm not asking them because I want to know if they watched the video, if they weren't on it live. So that's the first thing I do Sunday night right after or Monday morning. I'll say, hey, we missed you on the call. I want to hear your feedback every morning or every time so then i know to update that excel spreadsheet so and then this 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 call i mean i don't get i mean this guy was scheduled to, to call before he came around too i don't know if you remember that from yesterday honey so i was surprised that he came here because i make this a priority if we're going to give them challenges and it's not because we're their boss it's because we want them to know um i'm not quitting on you i am here for you we're not going anywhere you chose to be in this group. How can I help you? So if we're going to have a challenge to put together a coaching list is my point is you as their leader needs to be the one that's asking them about it. You as their leader is going to be the one giving them feedback on it. We they post it on the page, but then it literally it, it, it gets to be too much. Right. And then it's mm. personal and we need it. That's the beauty of all of us leaders hopping on here and making all of our challenges together is that it makes that more of a, a mini family, so to speak. And if we don't have that, then they're not going to stick with it. So it, 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 I love the idea of, oh, share it here, share it there. Well, if you don't know where your team is needing the guidance, the verbiage, the life, there's no way one of us can do it for everybody on there. A prime example is when we said, hey, list your problems. What are, what are, you, what are your obstacles when it comes to um, getting parties book? I mean, I saw two of us post maybe. I mean, we said that, but it's not, I'm not trying to point fingers. It just proves to me that not one or two of us can do that. It's not realistic. And yeah, if we all chime in every once in a while, I think then it makes it more real, right? So if we have this challenge that, okay, we'll give you an example. Here's an example. I'll post that. And then your challenge this week is to come up with some, uh, what do we call it? A uh, system of, of personalizing it. Maybe. What would you call it? Is it a system? Is it a write up? An outline? Maybe your outline, right? Checklist outline. Yeah. Okay. But but are you guys good with that? I mean, it's not like you have to feel like you have to know it all, but just, I mean, check in with them and find out what, what is it that uh, they stumbled upon. Ask them. I mean, this is what I ask our team members. And it's, I told you, it's not always just a phone call. Um, I'll check in with them and say, oh, I can't wait to hear your feedback on last night. You're going to love the cow. Or, ooh, big week. Da, 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 da. What are your thoughts? We missed you on the call. Oh, we missed you on the call last night. Hope everything's okay. Can't wait to hear your feedback. Or I'll ask them a question about it so I know if they really listen to it. And it's not because I, I, I check it off. They only live at the part. No, it's not about that. I just really want to know how I can keep guiding them and nurturing them. So maybe one thing is if they miss the call, well, I'm thinking out loud right now, I know I'm going to say, tell me what you thought of the chain reaction. If they didn't watch the call, there's no way they're going to know about the chain reaction. And then if they call me, or chat with me like three weeks from now and say, oh my gosh, I'm struggling with my coaching. Oh, really? Well, I, I, you didn't watch that chain reaction one, huh? Why don't you watch well, that and then get back with me? Maybe that's a question to ask is, because uh, I, I don't know where the people in our group are at. Maybe, maybe you know, 10% 10, 10 of them already masters at, at this. This is what they already do. You know, they, they already get parties booked at their parties. And they already, you know, use the Erna kit effectively yeah. or a flip, flip parties or whatever. <laughs> or is it that, you know, nobody does. So I don't know. I know I'm, a, I'm probably more of a fan of doing poll, polls than anybody is, but I like to know kind of where people are at. But 
a lot of people aren't responding to the polls, so you can't really get a get a sense well, of. Well, I mean, right, guys? Don't you kind of have an idea who? I mean, we, we get to know them. I mean, that's the beauty of us dividing and conquering, right? Right. Another thing. Um, when we have these leadership calls, um, I kind of got the feeling because it, they get less each time. I thought, well, maybe it's too much pressure. If you get on, I don't want to get on the call because then I'm going to have to do the next leadership. And we don't want it to be like that. I mean, it really, it, it, we really do want it to be comfortable. So that's why I said, I'll do tomorrow's for sure, but maybe and this is what Ken and I were talking about. So, so maybe each week we designate two weeks ahead of time. And then that gives you more time to get your comfy and your own, you know, your own plan or thoughts or whatever together. So as we solidify what we're going to do tomorrow and then, you know, do a little bit of brain melding on what do we want this to lead to next week. Before we get off of the chat today, I would love it if one of you, after we know what we're doing, um, I want you guys just to volunteer. I'm no longer going to say who wants to lead it because I don't want to put that pressure on you. Just because it's comfortable for me and I can fly off the seat of my pants. Oh, you're fine. On you. So hopefully, does that make sense, you guys? It, it, we really do want it to be, be comfortable. I never, I, know, I never mean to call you out. I don't want it to be like that. So if it's coming off that way, I apologize. It's just because I, I'm literally, I'm just trying to empower you. But at the same time, I've, I've learned that I, sometimes it's a little intimidating and then I don't want it to be like that. So from now on, when we talk about topics and you think it's tugging at you, it's something you want to share, then speak up. And if nobody speaks up, we'll just assume that I'm doing it that week. Deal? Fine. Sure. Deal. I love when you do it. You have this energy that just pumps people up, but I also love the fact that we can chime in and share our share our input and what we have to share too. So I, I love when you lead it and we just kind of add to well, it. But that's I like my the variety. Let, let, me, let me chime in on that a little bit too, because I've kind of been watching the dialogue and all that too. And when, when Danette leads it, there's got, if you're off the hook for not having to lead that week, then you're on the hook for being active and responding and keeping the dialogue on on point and you know re, uh, I guess answering questions and trying to get more uh, activity going on around whatever topic that is. So just because you have the week off as a leader to be the one leading the the content shouldn't mean that you got the week off from being active in the interaction that's going on on the site. And they need to see that. They need to see that there are numerous leaders who are walking the walk and talking the talk and and they want to be you know aspire to want to be part of that that circle um that's that's what you're trying to create is that 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 passion for i want to be i want to be bonnie or yvonne or brandy or you know or mary or holly or any of the people who are leaders in this in this group i want to be part of that and i want to aspire to become part of that but if it's just one one or two people who are who are carrying most of the weight they don't they don't see that it's like they they don't see all these excited leaders who are just you know pumped up about their sensi business so it, it it's got you know if if Danette's leading it that week then everybody else has got to be active in the dialogue and if Bonnie's leading it or Yvonne or Brandy or whoever's leading it in another week then then everybody else should be you know should take that weight mm -hmm. off of them during the week because you know they did all the prep and all the work to present that week it, during the week should be they should be able to just kind of be monitoring the activity because all the other leaders are just you know just making it happen you know with that dialogue and that's that's the kind of energy that has to come out of that group you can't I, I just don't you know if, if it's just off of one person I don't care whether it's Danette or whoever um, who's has that energy and that's all they see is that one person then you get this you get this uh mentality and i've heard it and seen it so many times where i go well i'm not like Danette. i can't do this it's like exactly. well and, and it, you and, mentioned that you said i that that checklist you made it your own because you don't talk like me do you know how many times we hear that oh i can't do it like Danette, so i don't want to do it I, we so I, yeah i'll fail because i can't because i can't do it like Danette. That's and, 
and that's just that's just flat out wrong. And, and, I, and we all know it from our gut. All of us have seen it because I've seen everybody from my introverted sister-in-law become a superstar director and all. You know, so we've seen every personality type can be successful. So we we've, we've got to demonstrate that and show that within our leadership circle. I guess is what I'm saying. Sorry for going off on a little rant. <laughs> No, you hit the nail on the head. We all have to participate. Well, and, and, and that's the thing is that we want to make it to where we want to, not just have to. And that's, I mean, that's an evolution. That's, I mean, it'll all come because we're all giving our feedback and our thoughts. And, and, and that's what I love about it. That's what is so great is that, uh, you know, I'm thinking of Brandy, your gal that is so petrified of going live. Oh, my golly. Well, I am the last person she is going to learn from. There is no way she's going to grow mm -hmm. up watching me. But who was the gal? Uh, there was a gal that posted last week that said she, oh, what was it? She, because uh, I, I told Ken about it. Um, you guys might remember, but she said. Is it Tina? I don't know if I'm going to remember who it was because I was just responding to the comment, not the person, but to the comment to, uh, I, I can't get parties or I don't want to go live or something like that. And then I said, well, you got to get out of that habit of telling yourself you can't, you got to get out of that habit of your, she says, well, if you don't know me, you don't know what my habits are. I said, fair enough. Oh, that was Emily. Was that who it was? <laughs> okay. So, and that wasn't, I wasn't trying to be mean at that whatsoever, but I really do believe we have a habit of how we self talk. And so she said, I was, I'm busy and da da da. And I went, absolutely. That's so fair. We all have life. I mean, I don't know what else to say to that, but I wrote this down as my notes to stop talking about how busy we are. Every single time we mention how busy we are, that paints a picture to the outside world. Like, oh, I don't want to do Cincy because she's always so busy and look at her. She's stressed or look at her. She can't do this. She doesn't show up for that. She doesn't share this. She's too hyper. She's missed this. She missed, I mean, those are, uh, and you guys, what's that quote that says, substitute the word busy with, and see how that makes you feel. I'm too disinterested. Every time you're saying I'm busy, change the word to disinterested. What does that do? Mm. Ow. Whoops. Is that the word I want? I like it though. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I, and just on the opposite side of kind of this, this dialogue is I, I've never seen in my working career, a group of more powerful, uh, positive, go getting, go get it, prove it, you know, knock down the brick wall and, and get to the other side than this group right here. So I know what you guys have done not just what you're capable of, but what you've done. So just don't be afraid to bring that out and, you know, push this through because we can, the better we create this power circle of amazing sensi leaders, the more people are going to want to aspire to be a part of that. And that's what, that's what will drive them to, you know, earning the next, whatever it is we're as leaders, as a leadership core, are encouraging them to do. They'll get on board with that and then, you know, they'll want to be a part of that. They get their first earning, their first incentive trip uh, from this effort that they're putting in here. It changes lives. We all know it. We've all seen it, right? So um, you guys are amazing. Uh, don't be afraid to show it. Oh my God, I'm so, yeah, and I'm, I, God, I hope I haven't, I mean, none of this was personal. None of this was targeted towards any one person, it literally is a whole. You guys make this so much more fun for me. I'm speaking for myself. I, I will not miss these calls. I love them. I, I mean, you know if something, that, it'll be dire if I do, but you guys make me want to be better and do better. And so I come across with this passion of, don't quit, don't give up, do more, poof. but it's only because I want for you guys, and I really am saying me, because it's not necessarily that um, Ken and I have talked about this, but I want nothing more for all of you guys to experience 
a, a debt-free life that I had no concept of ever achieving. And not only is it a debt-free life, but it is the life of freedom where you don't owe one single person. And when you don't owe somebody or something a dime, I can't describe that empowerment that it has as a whole on life. And it's not just about the money that empowers you. Once that was achieved, and I've said this before, the more money we make, the less we spend. But the more investment I want to put in people, in you guys, and you guys are the ones that want it because you're here. So golly, oh golly, oh golly, I don't mean to hurt your feelings or step on your toes because there's not going to be a more rewarding time than when all of us are going to be able to, on a spur of the moment, say, hey, you guys want to go to Fiji? It's not an incentive trip, but let's just go for a week. Want to? Hey, you guys, everybody come to our house. Let's have a week in Florida and go to Disney World. Watch the super fun uh, manatees. Manatee. How do I say it? Manatee. Manatee? Manatees. Manatees. I don't know. Wait. I've never heard manatees before. It's, manatees. it's just manatees. <laughs> You're thinking of tutus. Thank you for that gentle correction. <laughs> but you get the idea, hopefully. Okay, so let's recap for for this week. Uh, we'll do a baggage check, and I'm adding to mine. I'm so excited. Um, and then a uh, party chain reaction. We'll go over that graphic. Oh, I hope I don't forget to look, Liv, Yvonne. I ran out of time last time. Could you tell? So I didn't want to open up another little chitty chat, um, about changing their perspective on all about doing the parties. So it's more than just the PRV and their cow is come up with, create your very own outliner checklist for your coaching your host, keeping in mind that somebody's gonna earn a kit, six or 70 people are gonna host. I mean, go into the mindset that it's more than just one person because every time you get a heart party booked, that means you're expanding your network somehow, some way. Even if it's when somebody joins, you're expanding their network, which is still expanding their network, right? I think that's a good point to make in that graphic too is it's about you know it's getting outside of your circle of people you already know booking parties at your parties is a huge huge tool <laughs> to grow your customer base and your reach of your business for the sense your sensey products to people you don't know <laughs> and if you don't have strategies to do that you're gonna you're gonna top out you're gonna plateau mm -hmm. so that's that's a key strategy to keep from plateauing your business. You know, Ken, just an idea back to your polls idea. What if you, for instance, midweek uh, put on a poll is have have you implemented this? Are you finding value in it? Are you um, is this something I, to me? We need more feedback from our crowd, uh, from our group, from our mm -hmm. all our goers. Um, I think that. Yeah, that's kind of up to us too to talk to our teams. Like, true. Yeah, I I have like the way I see everything in this um, in this group is like when we're talking here sometimes and we're like, okay, I think maybe we'll just focus on this. Like, that's a good idea, but we're just gonna kind of focus this way. That doesn't mean that I can't go to my group and say, okay, this is what we're focusing on there this week. But I also thought you guys should do this or this and da, da, da. you know that's what I do with my team and um you know I don't talk to them every week after the meeting which I on Monday which I'm gonna start doing um but I will check in with them during the week just because that's what I do for my team and um and that's when we should be checking on them and asking them like are you still interested in the group is it still you know I have to sneeze is it still um you know, a value of it, uh, is it still a value to you? Are you still getting things from it? Are you still participating? Haven't seen you post in a while. Yeah. And is there something else that would be more value to you? And yeah, you know, and then say, bring that, bring it back bring, to the group. Bring that yeah. to our group. Yeah, that's what this is about. I agree. Well, it's just like we're all kind of assuming, I know I am personally assuming that they 
mostly do parties to get PRV and are not necessarily have those three elements in mind. Maybe, maybe we're wrong. Maybe all of them are already, that's why they're all killing it so well is because they're already, they know this stuff. So we're, but I don't, I don't know that. And I think they're, they'd be more honest with us asking them rather than posting like in a, a survey like that, they might go with the majority because mm -hmm. I know when you ask the question about like how many people did you sponsor this month? I was at zero. I was like, I'm not clicking zero. <laughs> no, and so I was like, uh, you know, so, and I'm a leader, you know, so I know that if they're in there, like, I was like, look at these people who got three recruits already. Here I am at zero. Like, so I'm not clicking zero. Oh, wow. come. Come on, I wanted to call you out as a loser. I know, you did. I know you did. I was like, I mean, they already know. They can see. Um, but you can you can see that I had zero. But um, Well, and I yeah. like that you're mentioning that, Brandy, because um, when I say I don't necessarily talk to them the next day, you know, I just reach out because, yeah. you know, so I'm not, I hope I'm not swaying. No, up. no, I think that's, like, I will, um, you know, I try and just go through the alphabet, basically, like my team is listed as members and I will just go through and I'll message a couple of them just like, hey, haven't, you know, because when they feel that personal connection, they feel right. a little more obligated or, you know, like, oh, oh, I don't want to let her down or I don't want to. Um, so I just try and, you know, go through the alphabet. It usually takes me like two weeks. So every two weeks I'll reach out or whatever, but I feel like I need to be more specific with the people in um, this group, but those are my rock stars anyway. So I feel like I'm talking to them about other things almost on a daily or every other day basis. Well, and in, in, the, in my experience, and, and Brandy, I know you and I have talked about this. In my experience, the reward of exclusivity is a way more powerful than a gift. There's yes, so no doubt. having special privileges and special exclusive something, something, and they, they just seem to want to work harder for it. So as much as we can make them feel that by being in this group, I think it's better. And I love how you said, you know, when you're talking to your team members, because this is this group's focus, this is what the, you, you better know, all of you better know your team members better than us as a whole. Yeah. And keep in mind, your group dynamics, way different than ours. I mean, holy yeah. God, we've been doing it for 15 years and the majority of our zeros are, are freaking geriatrics in the, in the <laughs> direct selling world. As far as they've been with us for 10 or 12 years, that's what I'm calling geriatric. So they're going to be a lot different to work with guide, with coach and, and nurture than the, all the newbies that you have on board. So yeah. it's so perfect that you, you go that route. So let me yeah. also kick that little challenge up a notch to all of you guys when you're asking them. Try to get in the habit of asking open-ended questions as opposed to yes-no questions because then we get more valuable feedback because kind of going why when you said the poll, the easiest thing to do is I don't want to do that. I want to say no. But it's easy to say yes, no, uh-huh. Even if we elaborate, we might get more ideas with an open-ended question. Annette, would you mind sharing that um, graphic that you made? The, the party. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you show your face. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> no graphic, no face. No face, no graphic. <laughs> no, and we'll share this. I'll put it on the page itself after uh, we chat tomorrow, OK? Uh -huh. You know, and Oh, I was like, whoa, something happened. You know, and that is so true what you said about the exclusivity because so I had three call phone calls yesterday with my um, director watch girls and you know what every single one of them asked me. So when I hit director, do I get to be in those groups that you're in where you get to find out all that information? Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Well, That's a big thing to them. And you, you guys, get in that habit on your team page. I try to do it on Team Talk, or when I'm doing my one-to-one -one conversations, even with outside of the incentive group, I'll say, oh, that was in the incentive group. We have an exclusive incentive group. 
or oh, on our leadership call. I love talking about our leadership call because uh, it hasn't happened that often because we start, we, you know, all of us have started doing these, but um, I love it when they say, when you do that, what leadership call? Did I miss it? I'm like, oh yeah, you'll be there when you're a director. Another little thing that to me, that's growing leaders, not just a rank advancement. So yeah, the more you can highlight the hipster cool things, that's, you know, I like to say, oh, from the SSD group, oh, I just heard from home office. It's not mm -hmm. trying to brag. It's trying to empower. So hopefully it doesn't come across as bragging. <laughs> but yeah. No, and I feel the same way when sometimes people are like, oh, well, what do you want to be? Um, uh, star director or, or what do you get or whatever I'm like a new group like <laughs> I want to know what, <laughs> I want to know what they know because I know they know a little bit more than I do so <laughs> time to level up that's right <laughs> okay so I'm just I'm going to share that can I still like polls because if I'm not at that top, it motivates me to want to work harder to see where I can get. And maybe that's just my nature. Uh, but obviously, they aren't that effective uh, if we aren't getting the numbers of respondents. Oh, I'm glad you clarified what kind of polls you like, Bonnie. <laughs> well, I like a, a variety. <laughs> not touching that one. <laughs> yeah, just one person on at a time for it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, good for tomorrow. Um, any thoughts while we're in the thick of this? What would play off of this going forward next week? You know how every week we say, oh, then we could share that or we can maybe do this. Is anything jumping out at you as an elaborate, as a way to elaborate or uh, play off of this next week? Have we talked about, well, we haven't um, talked about it all, um, new consultant training. Like, so you got all these new consultants, now what do you do with them? Mm -hmm. That's a good topic. Yeah. Is that a good topic for our, our incentive groupers? So we guide or nurture them with their new Yeah, because they need to get their new teammates to certified. Right? Well, and, and, and in theory, in theory, in theory, they're following the party chain reaction. They should have an EAK that now what do they do with them? Mm -hmm. Do you think, though, that we've covered this one in enough depth? that we can then move on to that. Yes, I know that there's, it's, there's big value in how to get a new consultant going, but to me, this is a huge one. And does it, does it require more than just one week? Why don't well, we ask? I, and we don't have ide to that. Ideally, right. they apply it, right? Yeah, well, hopefully, yeah. Kind of figure out, again, is, you know, do we figure out uh, how did it go? Like these, our check-ins, and then go from there. I think at the end, um, we need to ask people maybe more for their feedback too. I'm not saying that new consultant training isn't valuable. I think it's extremely valuable, but I think we need to check in with our people. How can, can you give us some ideas also? So they've got some ownership with what we're doing. Um, yeah, so, you know, do, we need to, do we need to extend this and make it you know, a little bit longer? What more, or, or are we jumping topics too fast? What if we do a pre-poll and a post-poll, just kind of bouncing her off of this, uh, Bonnie, because I, I think that's kind of fun. We can do a poll tomorrow and say, what's your comfort level you know, rating, or you know, what's your comfort on how, you, how well you coach your hosts? What's your comfort level? I mean, we can post this tomorrow before the call. Before. And then Sunday, mm. same thing, yeah. just for all of us. But I like that. This, this makes, this reminds me, this, I'll do a shout out to our, our people in our incentive group to say, hey, there's a poll. Um, I haven't seen you post on it. You can even tell me your thoughts because I really want them to know I notice. So uh, again, going back to our responsibility as the leaders, whenever there is a poll or a question to say, hey, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Will you add something to the poll or would you, you know, just because again, it's, it's us creating that environment where we value them and they know it because notice not because we're trying to point them out i guess yeah and so so you guys um i don't know where, where, where you guys are, our heads are at but um it doesn't have to be us uh 
posting a poll. I mean, if you if you want some feedback on something, anybody in the group, I mean, this is our group. It's not, not when I say our, I mean, everybody here, not Danette and I, this is our group. So if there's a top, if you're unsure about something, then put it on that at uh, PM group and we can chat about it before you post a poll. But anybody can, can say, you know, hey, I'd sure like to know a little bit more about how people are feeling about this. And that'll help us craft what it is we make our topic of focus for the week too is the more we know, the more we can better we can lead. So if there's an area you're thinking, gosh, I wonder if they even have a clue what to do with a new team member, you know, or are they just kind of depending on Sensi to do that? And do we think that's good enough? Um, which clearly we don't. So that that's a good question. If we don't know that from our one-on-one -on -one conversations that we're having with them, already know that, then we don't have the ability to get together as a leaders and go, you know, this is where my people are at. They don't know how to do this well enough, I think, to be successful in earning the incentive. And that's really what we're trying to evaluate as leaders. The people I have in the group do not know this well enough to be able to earn the incentive or are not doing this well enough to earn the incentive or are not motivated on this particular thing to earn the incentive. That's what, you know, we need to be able to fill in those blanks with the people we have in the group if we're going to lead them appropriately. I think something that needs that falls in that category is how to coach making it about them, not yourself. Like two conversations I had were like diffusing situations yesterday because the conversation was, well, if you hit lead, then, or if you hit superstar consultant, then I'll probably hit director. I agree you know like so really talking about how you make it a, when you're coaching them to certified lead star yes it is about you getting points for the incentive but mm -hmm. they can't know that they right. can't know that yeah. your intention is to get points for the incentive your intention and it should be genuine but sometimes it doesn't come out that way well, we all that, evolve, right? Remember how we evolved? I, I went through that. I remember. I, I remember yeah. It was the very basic beginning. Like, I didn't want to sponsor my best customers because then how am I going to talk to your RV? That, that, that's about me. <laughs> so that's such a great point. That tiny, you know, tiny. Very yeah. not yours. So, and that goes for everything. That goes for sponsoring. That goes for talking to the host. That's when we're trying to get parties booked and when we're coaching our new teamies, no matter what. What's in it for them? That's another great weekly topic. I yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like when I talk about lead, it can't be that, you know, I'm trying to get all my certified people to lead so I can get that thousand points. Um, it's that lead is the most powerful um, title that one of the most powerful titles you can get because that's where you show up on the consultant locator. That's where you get your first bonus. That's where you start to find new people that aren't your circle. It's such an important title to have. And a lot of people mm -hmm. have the PRV and the GWV for lead. They just don't have the people. So that's right. the, the topic that that's really hot in my group right now. And some people are just going about it the wrong way. Well, if you get to lead, then I'm going to get to start consultant. Yeah. No, you should never, ever tell what you're going to get from a promotion. It has to be about them. Yeah, the and same was same was with booking parties, right? Where yep. people were saying, well, I'm a guy, I can't get anybody to respond to booking my parties. Well, <laughs> it's not about what's in it for you. It's about what's mm -hmm. in it for them. And yeah, the more, that's got to be our language. That's got to be authentically mm -hmm. who, who we are and how we think. And if that isn't happening, then, yeah, that's that's a big problem this melts yeah. into everything that we talk about i think that we've got to make sure that they're focused on the host or the new consultants or whatever not themselves we've got i think we've got to reinforce that big time every week i agree i love that the incentive plan is set up that way because yeah we get points for them promoting to lead but they get more points for promoting themselves you know they they get the personal promotion points so right. it's like a little win-win well, and lead, lead to uh, Brandy's point, lead is, the beauty of lead and the reason why the staying power is so much longer. I mean, the data since he shared with 
with everybody on that. Consultants who make to lead stay with Sensi significantly longer than ones who only get to certified. And the, the beauty of, of getting to lead is you've now actually executed every key element of building a successful Sensi business large, right? You've sponsored somebody. In theory, hopefully you've led them to become certified and you're, you've made sales. So you've done all of the three key things, lead, sell, and sponsor. Now you've done them all. Maybe you haven't mastered them, but you've done them all and you've accomplished outcomes in each one of those areas. Now you just got to get better at each one of those and you're well on your way to, uh, uh, you know, having a great career with Sensi. Yeah. So that, so maybe, so I'm going to run this by you guys, um, cause Ken and I've talked about doing a surging leader group and I know we've mentioned it a hundred times, but because we like the let's go format, we were thinking that we keep the format after this incentive, call it our surging leader group. It's still going to be, let's go lead and above for our, for all of you guys lead and above get invited to the surging leader group. The beautiful thing about the surging leader group is no matter what, we're always going to have an incentive as the initial focus. So no matter when they join, whenever they hit lead, they're going to, I mean, that's what's so great about this format that we're feeling is, and you guys give, you know, give your two cents too. Do you feel like when, when they hit this group, the leadership group, can they catch up? Does it matter if they catch up? No matter how we're doing this, if somebody joined our uh, sur uh, surging leader group tomorrow, do you think they would still get benefit? Because well, how wouldn't they if we're not just making it about in the incentive group? It's really the surging leaders because we want them to, but man, it's golden nugget to have two incentives because we'll have the summer incentive to highlight and we'll have the annual incentive to highlight. But you know what? Every week we're meeting to figure out what goes forward so we can be absolutely present in the time of the Sensi business. Thoughts on that? Because it's another, we're trying to come up with another fun exclusive without it being what, another group and another group. So I think um, like the um, accountability, you know, having I, for people that are lead to, before they get director, you know, we have the, what did you share page and as directors and they don't have anything like that. They have the flyer groups and I like, I just despise those. But um, so I think it's important for them to do that. If, if they're, I, I just feel like they need something a little bit more than just being lead to be in the group. Like, uh, so you know, cause, because what, what would make that any different than just being in my team page? This, but you're, I mean, maybe, maybe we make it once you hit star because real statistics, think about this. So to, to your point, Brandy, Think about why Cincy is now giving us points when yeah. we a team member gets a star. There's some powerful statistics in how long they stay with Cincy and how high they go, how far they go. Yeah. In my team, my leader group is star and above because lead, lead, I start like looking at them and I'm, you know, helping them. But then when they hit star, I feel like they, they, they are taking lead now like they are a yeah. little more invested where Here's i feel like momentum. lead they could still hit accidentally they just need to have one person on their team and um and they could have their high prv and just hit it themselves where star they actually have to have to to be working okay so you bring up a good point that you have the group and so if we were to go forward with making our let's go groups more than just the incentive, but leads. So we have the same language. Um, so maybe we all do our own separate one or, you know what I mean? So they're not, because uh, if I say something about, oh, it's the surging leader group. And then they'll come to you, Brandy, and say, I want to be in the surging leader group. And you're all, well, we already have a leadership group. You know, I don't want it to yeah. be something that it, uh, it, it separate. I mean, because I believe the more the barrier there is in training. But yeah. I also love the idea. If yeah. you're a star, 
li I, I'm trying to think, is there anything, <laughs> any benefit, any bonus, any special exclusivity hitting star? Cause I'm not thinking of anything. No. Because when they hit superstar, oh, that's one level from director. You're on the yeah. next step to the leadership title. So that's kind of fun to look forward to. Star? Nothing. And I feel, I feel like people can get discouraged at star because there's such a big jump from star to superstar. And, and I feel like a lot of people um, at star have their team catch up to them. I, I was just yeah. going to say the exact same thing. I think yeah. that's that's one of those big hurdles is going from yeah. star to superstar. Star. Getting getting certified lead to star, that can happen. Bing, bing, bing. You know, yeah. just just need a good fall. Happen to have the right person that you sponsor, mm -hmm. blah, and you can get there. But to get to to superstar consultant, that doesn't happen without applying yourself. Yeah, that's so funny because it's Star Summit right now, right? Yesterday and. That's how star directors feel with superstar directors. You know, it's this weird middle that's, child syndrome. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's wow. another one of those. I agree. At, at the leadership level, that's exactly the same. I feel mm -hmm. exactly the same about that as I do for new consultants trying to get to. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Well, in the, in the spirit of us starting the surging group, the whole spirit is that we we constantly will always have one rank advance ahead to look at as far as to endeavor towards that those numbers. However, the whole spirit of the surging leader is that you just keep growing as a leader. You constant constantly learn how to become a better a leader, no matter what stage of the development. And it's almost one of those extra bonuses. Then you rank advance. Then you earn incentives, da 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 da, because what will happen is, and you guys have seen it because we've all been with it long enough. Somebody hits director and they're on that what? I hit director, that was the almighty, the holy grail. Yeah. You know, and so if we can just, you always want to be a better leader because that's how you're going to grow, that's how you're going to change your life, that's how you're going to make more money, that's how you blah blah blah. And then even when they hit SSD, then they can keep striving because then. You know that that circle of excellence yeah sure that's just so far out it doesn't feel realistic but why do you keep wanting to get better and that's why we took the approach this month in team talk that this is your highest paycheck ever month let's do it let's try so here's that's a thought with your group and that is what if um not your group but a group of leads let's say for instance or and higher is making it more intense. Maybe it's one afternoon. Maybe it's a training that just lasts an afternoon. I look at it as a time thing with a lot of people when I think of my people, because a lot of them work. Or how about a four week deal where, you know, and, and not longer than that. So um, like, really like, like four weeks and uh, Saturday afternoon yeah. from 12 yeah. to four or something. Or even less time than that. Because I think to a lot of people, they're pretty intimidated. Um, well, uh, just looking at my own group that I think would would benefit from that is a lot of them just have little kids and Saturdays are family times. And, you know, if you tell me that it's one Saturday from 10 till three or whatever time you do, or it's one month on this night for an hour and a half or whatever, yeah. it's more compact. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday, so Tuesday, we, Tuesday nights at seven or something. Right. Yeah, two hours. Yeah. The, the beauty of that, Bonnie, is we have our group. Us as leaders meet however often. We can still meet once a week if we choose, twice a month, whatever. But we are still the ones who are communicating. Right. We are the ones who can take the weekly challenges out if we want to cow them every single week, but have a once a month check in with the surging leaders. Uh, yeah, because I'm yeah. Really yeah. you wouldn't want to do this every week because then it takes the exclusivity of it. That's yeah. and that's what I found with my uh, my leader group. I started it. I've been doing it for a few months now, and um, <clears throat> I started it where we had a meeting every Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And one, I felt like I wasn't giving them good enough content every week. It was hard for me to do my team meeting, my incentive meeting, and my leader meeting and give them good enough content every week. And, um, and they weren't showing up every week. They were just like, it's a lot, you know, like yeah. plus, plus then if they have their teams that they do a meeting team meeting with and they're bringing in new 
our new consultants. Plus it's just a busy time of year. Um, so we went to, instead of doing a group, uh, doing a meeting, we just do a group chat and, um, and honestly, I just pop in and give them like once a week, I have it on my to do's to give them something new. So like this week I had a, um, form, um, about, uh, I don't know, some, something that I do in my leader binder, like this is, oh, cause it was the beginning of the month. I showed them my numbers tracker and I said, this is my numbers tracker. This was what I used to track my numbers. And I sent it to them. And then I said, this is my tracker that I track your numbers with every month. And I sent it to him. So you should be tracking your standout people also. Um, and I find that that's doing really well. And I think they're really benefiting from being able to kind of do it on their terms. Their terms, yeah. Yeah, their time. Um, let me ask you guys this. Um, what do you feel? Uh, uh, and Because you're going to be where we are, where you have all your leaders and you really want to do what's best for most. You're never going to accommodate all of them. Um, but you do want to, you, you, you want to provide as much as you possibly can. And at the same time, offer that different learning style, teaching style to you, all your team members. Mm -hmm. what is something that, you, that Ken and I could do, and let's reference the surging leader group. Is the surging leader group something that you and your group would want to be a part of? Or do you prefer, you know, do we keep it? We each do our own, but we feed into one. And the same thing with these incentive groups going forward. Is it, you know, what, what is something Ken and I could do to help your business bigger, better, more, I guess, if I'm wording that right. I like having more people like our group because everybody comes from a different perspective. Everybody says words, they might be similar words, but they are said in a different way. So it's, it's, it's like teaching, you know, they grab at what they hear the best, I guess you would say. So I like the group approach. I think there's something as too many groups, <laughs> you know, I think mm -hmm. everybody, you know, group overload, like, yeah, there's good groups out there and I don't go look in them because there's just too many. Like I just, so, um, I do like the idea of us having our own little leader groups and then meeting maybe once a month for a big training, just like Bonnie was saying, like a, a chunk of nugget, like a, an hour of something good, like, uh, yeah. But yeah, group overload is a thing. Right. It's a thing. What, what do you think about creating some sort of, because I know we're, we're, there's no real criteria to be part of this circle that we have here going. Should there be some sort of criteria? Do, I mean, how do we keep growing it? How do we keep adding more and more, you know, brains and innovation and excitement and energy and just smart people to this power group that we have here is there should there be criteria you earn you earn an incentive you do you're at this level you know your director above you earn your first incentive you i mean criteria for the leader group for the yeah for the yeah. this what we're doing right now i mean this is this is these are the movers and shakers i'm surprised quite honestly there aren't more movers and shakers on with us where is everybody well, there, there are a lot of them do, do their own thing. You know, like Chloe has her own thing. Katie has her own thing. They, you know, they are, those are already established and going. We don't need to need to integrate with them uh, or bring them into this one. It's because then that's just another group for them. Right. Just thinking no, of how, how, do we, how do we take this one and go up another level? Where are, where are more of your directors and superstar or star directors? I'm sorry? Aren't, don't you have more directors and star directors than? Yeah, and so this group was anyone who wanted to do it. We just posted it on M&Ms. Okay. And, and I, I'm trying to find, I'm trying, you know, that, think, back to that exclusivity thing. How, how, do we, yeah. how, how do we give them and say, you know, if you do this, this, and this, you can be part of our, our leadership group. It's, it's, you know, we're rocking and we're rockers and shakers and movers, you know, we want you to be part of that. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of, of a way to, to give them, just like we have, 
you know, once you're a director, you get on the director's page. Once you're a star director, you get on the star director. Once you're an SSD, you get on the SSD. You know, there, there's some exclusivity there. I don't know that we have anything established for this. It's like anybody want to be part of it, right? Um, I think the... I think what we have is really good. And I think trying to grow it, you would, um, like you've already grown wide, right? Everybody that was already qualified who wanted to do it is here. <clears throat> um, but what if you added like one more level, you know? So, you know, we've kind of talked about this, Danette, where you you're like we go to like our threes right mm -hmm. main of honor here um so what if you looked at people that are fours who are in the group that have been participating they have maybe they have teams that are in the group participating um you know who knows how many more will be directors by you know the next incentive that's where I would see it. I would see if we had people that we, who are already in this group, had people that were, we thought could, would help benefit us and them for being a, a leader. Yeah, they need to add value to the group, for sure. Yeah. You know, if they've proven themselves by doing X, Y, and Z, you know, maybe it's just a recommendation that comes from somebody who's already in this leadership circle that says, hey, I would like to add this person because of they bring this to the table and they've proven X, Y, and Z and, and you know, we just have our own criteria and go, or maybe there's no criteria. It's just we all just go, yeah, for sure, let's add them. We love their posts. We love their energy. We love whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a... a uh, and let me, I'm thinking out loud with you just now too. And so as we, let's say we stick to doing incentive groups like this and all of us get together and we do our, our brain melding and our, you know, if it's just during the incentive time that we do this weekly thing, la la la. Um, for the conversation of consistency with our team members, as we all grow and you all will have over a hundred directors or more, almost 200 directors like we do, as you all grow, if we have, like, if we all talk about the leadership group, you do your own, but if it's all, let's say we all call it one thing. And then whenever it's talked about, when they ask you, you get to tell them, oh, it's our leadership group here's the criteria because I know I feel bad sometimes when I slip and say something that I know we offer that you don't and then I mean I've been busted on it so many times throughout our career that we started doing something and then I'll say it and then I'll hear from one of you go hey so-and-so mentioned this what is that I'm like, oh yeah well yeah I forgot <laughs> my bad because I, I don't mean it to be that way but if we all you know if, however we decide and we don't have to do that now but if, if we all if one of us does it and we're in this group, then I think all of us need to figure out you either do your own or you piggyback with somebody who's doing it. So every single one of your team members has an equal right of growth at their will. Did that make sense? Yes. Yes. So speaking, speaking of that, it raised another thought of mine, which was we can always have guest speakers. We don't always have to be the ones doing something every week. I mean, we could see if Jason wanted to come on and do a, a live on Sunday or whatever, you know, during our time window. Well, we do Sunday, uh, hard, but you know. Right, you, you know, or Katie or Chloe or, you know, any, anybody uh, who we would, who we think are incentive people, the people we each individually have in this group would benefit from or be excited to show up for and listen to speak. That's, that's always on the table, always an option. So let's not forget, that. let's not forget about that. Okay, fun. Ooh, we have some things to noodle on, huh? <laughs> yeah. Thank you for sticking with it this long. Holy crap, tastic. What a fun meeting. <laughs> but now my head won't turn off for the next five hours, but thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, so. It's a good thing we have these in the morning, not at night. Yeah, we'd be up all night. Seriously. Oh, I don't that's know. That's what I still, like better about them. Still can't see Mary's face. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> She's back to sleep. Oh, you're funny. <laughs> yeah, not sleeping. Oh, shoot, she's still there. Randy, how come you're on two computers? Are you on your phone? Yes, because he... Oh, look at you. But, um, you work on Wall my, Street? My, <laughs> my, um, my computer screens are um, hooked to my laptop, so... Um, so I can't use my camera or my microphone from my laptop. So I have to use my phone. I could just be on my phone, but I like to see everybody. So when you're on your computer, you can see everybody. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. It's much bigger when you see me picking my nose, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So yeah, my husband tried to set me up a, a camera and a microphone, but it just, it echoes because I have hardwood floors in here. And so I just did it this way. Fine. What were you gonna say, Bonnie? Share your um your paper about the the snowball effect. The chain reaction. Chain reaction. Sorry. Right now. Same thing. No, yeah, same I mean concept. on our page, so we can so we can use it. Oh yeah. yeah it we will it tomorrow, it. and then I also it, it's in our uh, group chat from last week too. Okay, so I missed. I listened to the group chat, but I guess I didn't see it. Well, it wasn't a part of the, uh, well, did we talk about it? Yeah, we did, huh, huh Yvonne? But I, I added it to the, it's an attachment. Oh, in the okay, That's what I okay, mean. okay. Okay, all right then, I'll stop the recording. Um.